Good evening everyone, Weston Summers here and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be disassembling the Walther P22 pistol. We have already looked at this pistol earlier in some of our other videos, but today we'll be taking it apart. This pistol cannot be disassembled without tools and I highly recommend a magnetic bin for when you disassemble this pistol. You will need a 3mm and a 1.5mm Allen wrench, which we have present here, and you will need the spanner wrench included with your um, pistol when you bought it. With that, let's get started. First, you need to move up here. This has got the compensator model on it. This would be exactly the same disassembly for a normal model without the compensator, but this will just be a little bit more complex. You need to move over here to your side using your 3mm Allen wrench. I'm trying to get all this on camera. Insert it, and you need to take and completely loosen both screws for your compensator. These should already be pretty loose, seeing that I've taken them out. With that, roll them over, and we have both of them taken apart. Let's put these in our magnetic bin. Next, move to the top of your pistol, making sure she's still unloaded. Move to the top of your pistol, looking right here, there will be a worm screw. We're going to use our 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and insert it very carefully. We're going to turn it to the left, and you'll feel the compensator release. It should take several turns. And there's our little worm, group, worm screw that we need. Let's set that in there, just Allen wrench and all. At this point, your compensator will be loose, and you need to give her a couple twists and work her off. I'm going to try not hit the camera. Work her off the end of the barrel. Here's your compensator, and here's the end of the barrel. Next, you'll need to be pulling down on this release or takedown area right here, but it's got it kind of when it goes up, it clips in. So I find it easiest to have a light screwdriver and to pull down just ever so slightly on one side to get it started so that you can pull down on both of them. They are just lock in a little tight on this pistol. As you can see, once they're both unlocked, it slides straight down. This will allow the pistol to rotate backwards a little farther. You want to make sure your pistol is cocked. Let your slide come to the rear. Pick up on the back of the gun, or the back of the slide, and very carefully holding everything together, let her work off to the front of the weapon. You may have to jiggle her a little bit to get her off. And there she comes. Here is our slide. Set that off to the side. And the next two things you can take out will be your recoil spring and your full length guide rod. Put those in our tube in our bin here. This is what our pistol will look like. We can now eject our magazine. And there's only one more step I recommend if you want to clean, and that's the barrel. You want to move up here to the front, looking for these two grooves. You can see your little indention where your worm gear, worm screw sits. Using your spanner wrench, you want to very carefully work her on here without scarring anything, and rotate to the left. Here we go. Let's take this off to the left here, holding everything in place. It should come out. This is a sleeve barrel. Take your spanner wrench off. Unscrew the rest of the way. This is where you would access your threads for putting on a suppressor. With that, holding the gun level, hold in on the back of the barrel, and remove the barrel sleeve. Off will come your barrel sleeve, and here's your barrel. And to remove the barrel, you press straight in, then push up to go over that, and the barrel can be removed from the rear of the pistol. Here's your barrel, and here is the complete pistol disassembled one new close-up. With that, let's take a view of our parts and hopefully you won't have any trouble doing it now that you've let me make all the mistakes. Hopefully that helps everyone. Let's put her back together in our next video and then maybe we'll shoot one of putting her all together back in one go. Thank you very much. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Weston Summers out again.